Uh, and may the Lord bless you all. May the Lord bless you all. Uh, I'm happy to see you. Uh, although today not many of us are here today, but even this one or two, we will still learn something. Because if I learn, I don't learn for uh, Prodes Jamila, or I don't learn for uh, Pastor Daniel, or I don't learn for uh, Brother Joshua, but I learn for myself. So, as you also, you learn for yourself. So, when a brother or a sister is not available, we are learning to progress in our Christian journey and also so the word of God will dwell in our hearts. We have prayed. Uh, can you open your Bibles to, uh, Sister Wendy, can I see your Bible, please? Can everybody show uh, his or her Bible in the camera, please? Okay, Brother Prince, I've seen. Okay, Sister Wendy, I've seen that. Uh, okay, Brother Joe and Brother Joshua, I've seen your Bibles. Sister Victoria, I've seen your own. Sister Lydia and uh, Brother Prince, can I see your Bible, please? Is that a Bible, bro, uh, Prince? Okay. All right. All right. Uh, please open to uh, the book of Matthew chapter two, please. Matthew chapter two, who is going to read for us? Matthew chapter two, please. Bless you. Bless you, please. Uh, which verse do I have to read? We are reading, we are reading all. Okay. If you don't finish, uh, you continue next time. Okay, Matthew chapter two, okay. um, I'll read. Uh, please, uh, sorry about Ezra. Uh, we are coming to learn about our Lord, our Master, our King, the Almighty Jesus Christ, and the Creator of heaven and earth. Uh, he made everything and everything is for him. He made me, he made you, and we are for him. So we are going to learn about our Lord Jesus Christ. So kindly, kindly pay attention kindly pay attention for this particular uh, um, teaching that by his grace was, and still it's by his grace we are coming to learn. Please kindly pay attention. So maybe I know you've heard a lot about our Lord Jesus Christ, but I pray that may the Holy Spirit lead us so that you hear more and things that you don't know. You can go home and ask your parents for that. And those that your parents are not here, you can keep that to yourself and do research and next day you come to bring the meaning of what by the grace of God you ask you here. God bless you. Uh, please, brother um, Ezra, kindly uh, do that for us. But pay check. attention because there's a lot of questions are coming about what everything, but the, what we are about to learn. Questions are coming, please. Matthew chapter two, verse one. I read. Please, After a little Jesus. Bit louder for uh, our brothers and our sisters can hear you all, please. Matthew chapter two. I read. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod Magi, from the east came to Jerusalem, verse 2, and asked, where is the one who has been born, King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him, verse 3. Amen. When Amen. Amen. To worship him. We want to stop at verse 2 so that we will ask questions. So that we know what we are talking about and we know we also know uh what it is there for us to know also so my first question is when you talk about judea what is judea judea
Judea, you can raise hand if you want to answer. Possible, you can raise hand, Judea. Okay, Brother Joel. Uh, sorry, this event he, he was he was um okay he didn't okay. he didn't hear the question please okay okay went over Judea what is Judea and what can you say about Judea please this is um I'm not sure if it's a no I don't know what I should say um that Judea is is a it's a town or a city. Um, okay. God bless you. God bless you. Who else? Who else can say something? Okay. Is that Victoria? Okay. Let, let me draw uh, the, uh, so that uh, so that you can uh, enjoy your free hand. Okay. Now you can talk, please. But your microphone is off. Oh, sorry. Please, um, my understanding is that Judea is um is the same as Judah, where King David was, and he is part of the twelve tribe of Israel. Please, amen. Okay. okay. God bless you. Can anybody say uh, something else about it? Okay, and that's it. God bless you. Okay, we've not finished. We are still asking questions. Uh, please don't look into your Bible anymore. Don't look into your Bible anymore. Please take your eye off. Can you close your Bible? The angels of the Lord are with you. So if you open your Bible, the angel sees everything. And the Lord sees you also. So close your Bible. Okay. Uh, which in the time of which king that our Lord Jesus Christ was born? Which king? We just if you know, just raise your hand. Which king? Which king? At the time of which king that our Lord Jesus Christ was born? Okay. Okay, this is it. Okay, those that you. have Everybody hand is up. Let me see. Rap Prince, your hand is your hand up? No. Okay, then I'm asking Rap Prince. Rap Prince, uh, uh, which king? At the time of which king that our Lord Jesus Christ was born? Rap Prince. Remember, nowadays when you can't pay attention because everything will be going to YouTube. Have you seen some of the videos at you, uh, on YouTube? Uh, sister Lydia, sister Lydia uh, Victoria, you've seen it. Am I right, please? Okay. Have you seen some of the videos uh, on YouTube? Uh, Brad, uh, Brad, you've seen it. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. So sometime on your home alone, go back and watch, uh, observe that videos. Okay. My friends, are you looking into the, your Bible? No. Ah, okay. Which king, please? King Herod. King Herod. Okay. Okay. God bless you. And who was Herod? Rap Prince, who was, who was uh, Herod? He was the king. So I know here you are. King Herod was the king. The king of what? Um, think of sorry, I don't know. <laughs> I think okay, okay, it is okay, it is okay. So, remember, if I we ask you a question and you know, you know, answer it well, it goes against you because it's going to be on YouTube. I mean, 
it's going to be on YouTube. So when you're home alone, go back and watch. If you did well, you know that you did well. If you not perform well, next time, come back. Do your homework well, come back with something good. Amen. Okay. Who can answer that question? King Herod was a king by then. But a king of uh, which tribe, uh, which city, which nation? Um, okay, bra, uh, bra, Ezra. Bless you. Bless you, please. King Herod to the king of Bethlehem. King of Bethlehem. Yes, please. Uh, not really, not really, not really. Okay, um, uh, Sister Lydia. Ah, oh, Pastor, um, he was the king of um, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. I know he also, was the also, also, also not really, not really. Hey. Okay, uh, Sister Victoria. Please, he was the king of Judah. No, also not really. Also not really. Okay, Brad Joel. If I'm to say he was the king of Israel. Uh, yeah, but no, also not really. Okay. okay, let me see. All that you have said, you're not wrong. You're not really wrong, but he rules them. He rules them, but he was a king of a particular people. Okay, so Lydia. Uh, he was the king of the Jewish. Yeah, but the Jewish are all uh, Israelites. They, they, are all, they are all Israelites. The Jews, am I, am I, am I right, Brother Joshua? The Jews are Israelites. Am I right, please? Yes, please. Yes. He was a king. He was emperor of. Okay. Who want to understand that? Please, I hope you are not looking into your books. Maybe no books. Are you looking into books? Okay. Uh, let me see. I've, I've had four messages. Okay. That's okay. Um, let me see. Uh, it's Alia, I can't see you. Your, your video is paused. Okay, Brazra. Bless you. Bless you, please. Um, I think he's the king of Egypt. The Jews. The no, King Herod. He's the king of, uh, of, of which people? Egypt. The Egypt. Egypt. Yes. Egypt. Yes. <laughs> uh, no, please. No, please. Okay, Sister Lydia. Uh, Pastor, I think he was the king of the Roman Empire. Uh, he was the king of the Roman Empire. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is true. He was the king of the Romans. He rules them. You know, he was the king of the Romans. But the uh, example, his hand was also on uh, the Israelites. I would say um, the Judah, all the suburb. You understand? All the suburb. He was the, he, he rules them. But he was a king of the Romans. I would say, or the emperor of the Romans. He rules them. He was a ruler by then. Okay. Uh, okay. The, please still close your Bibles. The Bible was talking about the wise men. How, how many are they? How many are they? Uh, it's a Wendy. You are come today, so can I, I ask you a question, please? The wise men. How many were they? 
There were three. Okay. I don't know if there were three. I don't know. Maybe you are right, but I don't know. Okay, so Lydia. Um, Pastor, please, the Bible was not specific. Like, the Bible did not say three. It just says the wise men. So we don't okay, know how you are right. You are right. God bless you. The Bible said wise men. The Bible did not mention it's either three, four, five, or and so on and so forth. So the Bible not mention either three, four. The Bible say wise men. So we all have to put this into consideration that it's wise men. Uh, we, are, we are learning, we are learning, but a time will come, I will ask permission one day, and maybe we will go live on YouTube, and uh, you will see who is going to be the winner on YouTube. It's going to be a YouTube live. We are here, and it's also going to be on YouTube. So I record this, this the way you are going to do it. If I ask question, and you know the question, first, then you raise your hand over there. So the first person I will see their hand will answer the question. If you get it right, you are right. But if you get it wrong, we, if you get it wrong, we will deduct something from what you ever what you have. And if you are minus, <laughs> maybe you don't have anything and you get it wrong, we also put minus at your place. When you, you get one, you also take it away from it. So please try and do something. God bless you all. Okay, where did the wise men came from? Okay, bro, Joel. Please, please, the front is please um, from the east. From the east of Jerusalem. God bless you. Please, can you open your um microphones and say a big amen to Brother Joel for us, for the Lord to uh, be happy with uh, a servant. Please open your uh, microphone. Amen to you. God Amen bless you. to you, Brother Joel. God bless you for God that. Bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Okay. Okay. This one I will not ask because it's too cheap for people to know this. Um, okay, what was the intention of uh, the wise men? What was the intention? What was the intention of the wise men? Let me see. Uh, please, uh, Bra Prince, can you pay attention? Bra Prince, can you pay attention? Uh, I'm sure that when you watch yourself on YouTube, you yourself are not going to be happy. But everything will be live on YouTube. So when we are learning somebody uh, is not paying attention, it is very wrong, please. 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 I prefer that you sit well and uh, you pay attention also. Okay? Okay, God bless you. What was the intention of the wise men? Uh, Brazera? What is their intention, the intention of the wise men? What was their aim? Bless you. Bless you, please. Their intention was to worship their new king. God bless you for the answer. And the way you put the answer, I'm so happy for you. Their intention is to worship the new king. Because the king was born. The I am that I am was born. The grace Lord was born. King Jesus Christ was born. God bless you, brother Ezra. Remind me that I have something special for you because of the answer that you gave by the grace of God. Okay? I have something special for you. God bless you for that. I, I'm so much appreciate. God bless you. Um, uh, Brother Ezra, you read something. Let somebody, okay. Uh, let me see. Okay, read um, three and four for us. And if there's time, somebody can also read. Please kindly pay attention. Whatever brother, uh, brother Ezra is reading after that, I also ask questions, but make sure that you close your Bible and don't look into your Bible and give us the answer. Okay, brother Prince, God bless you. Please start for us, please. Bless you, I read verse three. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. 
purpose for when he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law he asked them where the christ was to be born verse 5 in bethlehem in judea they replied for this is what the prophet has written verse 6 but you no no guys are running too much it's only three and four please <laughs> i'm sorry only three and four please Bryce, are you with me, please? Read three and four again, please. For our sisters to uh, also. Bless you, I read. Bless, okay, please. Verse three. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. Verse four. When he had called together all of the people's chief priests and teacher of the law, he asked them where the Christ was born. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Um, okay. Oh, who is a chief priest? Who is a chief priest? Who is a chief priest? Uh, please, Sister Wendy, can you take um, your hand off? And Sister Lydia, can you take your hand off, please? Who is a chief priest? Okay, um, Brajo, uh, Joshua. He's evangelist. A chief priest is a person who works for God. Who? Please, an evangelist, please. A chief priest is a person who works for God. Who works for God? Okay, God bless you. Who else? A chief priest. Who is a chief priest? Don't let Brother uh, Joshua answer scared you. You can let say something. Who is a chief priest? Okay, Sister Lydia. Bless you. Bless you, please. Uh, I, please, a chief priest. To my understanding, a chief priest is, is also like a ghost. Ghost? Yeah, like a small, the worldly ghost, like the... Okay. Bosom. Okay, okay bosom. You. Who is a chief priest? Bless you. Bless you, please. I think a chief priest is like the head of all the priests, like the head of pastors of, of the pastors and the, the priests. Like uh, God bless you, uh, Brother Ezra. That's uh, exactly the answer is. Example, when you come to the two tab ministry, where is evangelist, I will see is a chief priest. That's another way of example that I can give to you. But then they need to have a chief priest. Uh, um, the, the Israelites, they used to have a chief priest. He was the head of all, um, I would say, um, uh, by then we say the Christian council, everything he was the head. But when you come to the two tab ministry, like example, I would say he's the head, uh, the chief priest of the two tab ministry. Also a leader, you understand? All the pastors, uh, everything he is the head. Um, okay, you still have an answer question to ask also. Who was troubled? Who was troubled? There was someone who was, uh, okay, Brother Joel, who was troubled? Please. Uh, thank you. Apple. It's, uh, um, King Herod. King Herod really was troubled. God bless you, Brother Joel. King Herod was troubled. He was shaking. Why was King Herod uh, troubled? When he says somebody's troubled, it means the person is scared. There's fear in King Herod's heart. I mean, why? I think Celia is talking to too much today. I'm, I'm, 
Okay, he's a video, I say something. Savik, please say something. Bless you, please. Bless you, please. Please, he was troubled because the king, a king was uh, born when they were coming to worship him. So he think uh, they will come that to take over his, his kingship, please. Amen. I'll, you, I'll give you half. I'll give you half. Not bad, but I'll give you half. Okay. Uh, uh, brother Joshua, is that you, please? Yes, please. Um, 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 yeah, um, please. King Herod was troubled because if if Jesus came into power, he will no like he will no longer be a king, and also he will lose his um uh, uh how can I say he will lose his empire like his kingdom. Okay, God bless you. God bless you. Okay, you can ask something. There's something, although he will lose, but there's something over there. Okay, you want to add something? Yeah, brother uh, Joshua. And also because there was sin, because if you do something bad and someone, um, yeah. Yeah. and someone like catches you doing something bad, like you get scared. Like, yeah, I understand that. God bless you. God bless you. Okay. Okay, let me add this. Okay, so, uh, Lydia. Bless you, Pastor. Uh, please, my faith, he was troubled because uh, the king of kings is born and his uh, his time is, like his time was up. I guess in the time, I assume, because the king of kings is born yeah. soon. Let me save it to Nadia, so yeah. Okay, okay, all right, inshallah. All that you have, the answers that you've given, None of you is wrong. It's absolutely uh, correct, which is a hundred percent okay. But this is it. They have heard that this king is a king who is coming to overthrow. Because the star that the wise men saw was a star that's above every star. And they have told him that this king that he has born is coming to take control over the whole world. That was the reason why he was troubled. If I'm example, example, maybe uh, I'm heading uh, a, a example. I'm the head of uh, Tuta Belgium, and for us now, by the grace of God, because of holiness, and because I want to serve uh, my Lord Jesus Christ well and serve Him well, it doesn't matter if the Tuta Belgium have about ten pastors. I don't care. My own is worship Jesus Christ well, so that you. Have mercy on me and give me life. But if you are of a church that uh, it is, you know, you understand that school pastors, you understand, you know, some people that they elect them because of their school. Example, if I went to university, maybe I have PhD, and uh, there's another pastor who is coming, but that pastor it has I have one, two, three PhDs. You understand. When the pastor, that pastor is coming, I'll begin to shiver or sick. Why? Because he's having a more PhD than me. So when he comes, the people will hold him high like this and bring, they'll, they'll bring me down. But please, you understand that. Let's look at something. In the Bible, when Saul killed a lot of people, so and Saul was the king by then, but when David killed Goliath, the women said, Saul has killed thousands, but David has killed 10,000. And so the women start to praise David and there was anger and enviness in, in the house of uh, Saul. That's where it started to bring the downfall of Saul. So the kings and the scribes and the Pharisees found out that there's a king that has been born and that king is come to take control over the whole world. Yet, for their, uh, their name not to go down, or his kingship or his kingdom not to break, okay, what do I do? Then I need to be troubled and find a solution to my trouble. So there was fear, and the fear was that a king has been born, 
A king that's above every king is going to take control over his kingdom. So now what do I do? Then I need to do something. So this is what we are learning. Um, this genus, um, Matthew 2 is very nice, but we will read and by the grace of God, we ask more questions. By the time we finish, you know more here. I mean, okay, you are still asking questions. They said there are some people that were also with him. They were also troubled. Despite uh, the king was troubled, there's uh, some people they were, they were also troubled. My prince, which people were troubled? My prince, my prince is gone. My prince. <laughs> Are you okay, please? Okay. Bless you. Bless you. Okay. Do you want to answer the question? What was the question? <laughs> please. <laughs> please, can you pay attention, please? The answer was, um, King Herod was troubled. And the Bible said there's some people that was with him. They were also troubled. Which people? Okay, uh, brother jo uh, Joel. Jerusalem. Uh, Jerusalem. Jerusalem was also trouble with the, uh, the king. Because the king, the, the king was troubled. And the whole Jerusalem was also troubled because if the king is in trouble, they're also in trouble. Why? Because the, the king is angry. Remember, this, this is how it is. For example, when you are, you are home with your parents and there's problem between your parents, you the kid too, you are not okay. Because they rule the house. And even if only the father is troubled, father's angry at home, all the kids goes, uh, go to their, their uh, rooms and they begin to cry. Sometimes you begin to uh, sleep, you put uh, your pillow <laughs> and your head to so that you don't hear anything. You understand? So it is like that. So when the struggle comes there, you need to find your way and go and, and hide, okay? Uh, God bless you, God bless you. Um, okay. Let me see, okay. Uh, I think we, we will not fed up, we will not fed up. Um, we're going to um, ask more questions here, and after that, yeah, we will go. Okay, okay. Um, what was the demand of the king? What was the demand of the king? Okay, brother, brother prince. Um, to kill all. The baby boys on the area. Yeah, to kill all the baby boys. No, please. No, please. What was the demand of the king? What was the demand of the king, please? Okay, but uh, Joshua. They said the demand of the king was that he's like to kill uh, the newborn king. No place, no place, oh. no place. What was the demand of the king? Okay, but I see um, Victoria. Please, the demand of the king was um, where the king was born. Where the king was born. It is true. He demanded to know where the king was born first. This is it. How can the king demand to go and kill the, uh, the new uh, uh, born king? First, to demand where? Because if I don't know, as example, if I have a, a gun to, to shoot, what do I do? I need to point the gun, the gun on something or on somebody before I will shoot. And if I don't demand to 
uh, point the gun uh, to kill some anybody. What I do is to just look into the sky, begin to shoot with my gun. But now the king went to go and kill the new king, the above all king. So what do I do? Then I need to find out and search where that I can find the king so that I can do something to him. So the demand of the king is to find where the new king has been born. I mean, so, but he gathered some people. Which people did he gather? Don't look, don't look into your Bibles, please. Don't look into your Bibles. Don't look into your Bibles. Uh, Mr. Wendy, can you say something? Mr. Wendy. Um, what was the question? <laughs> okay. Um, the king get us some people. The king get us some people. Uh, what, uh, what was the name? Uh, what, which people, please? Which people? Sorry, say that again. Which people did the king gathered? He, he gathered some people. There was some particular people that the, uh, I the, think it was. Okay. Okay, talk please. I think it was uh, the um, people of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and? and some of his soldiers. All right, I, I'll give you half because you got half and the other one did not come. So I'll, I'll give you 50 over 100. Are, are you okay with that? Okay, uh, he gathered some people. Which people please? It's a lady, are you looking into your Bible? Are you, as a question, are you looking into your Bible? Okay, yo. I believe that. I believe that you're not looking into your Bible. Okay, um, Braizra. Bless you. Bless you, please. The chief priests and the teachers. Okay, God bless you. Who else? Who else? He get some people. Who else? Okay, by Joshua. Please, did he, please, did he gather his officials? No, please. No, please. Okay, it's okay. Is okay, so Lydia. Last question. La sorry, last. Uh, give something. You want to say something, please? Pastor, uh, his elders. His elders. No. Yeah. The, the, the Bible says that uh, the scribes, I said the chief priests and the scribes of the people together. So it was a Jerusalem. When you say Jerusalem, it also stands for uh, the chief priests. Um, the people they know any information about because the chief priests and those people they represent the Jerusalem. So that is it. Okay. I, I was seeing how Sister Bella is uh, suffering from uh, joining. <laughs> that is Ghana for you. <laughs> okay. Um, um, God bless you. God bless. Okay, we've taken the time. We've taken the time. Uh, who has a question? 
Go ask a question. Does anybody uh, have a question for us? To ask something, to add something? Okay. So the Bible was letting us know that our Lord Jesus Christ has been born. And the wise men have seen the star of our Lord Jesus Christ. And they were to go and worship him. But for them to go is when they went to the king to ask the king in such a way that they will know where the king has been born. You understand that? So someone can come to me and ask something about, about me, uh, something uh, about evangelist. I will see through me. Please, do you understand that? Because a king has been born. For us to know a king who has been born is for, is for me to go and ask another king. Because a king knows information about kings. So a king knows so many kings because kings come and pay homage to another king. And kings, they know that those are their head of them. So they, they know all those things. So they went to the king, but the king, his idea was very little about this great king. So for him not to sit down so that his kingdom will be uh, wiped away or be taken away, he also went to ask those that they know um, the history of whatever is about to come. So he asked them, those direct him to uh, the chief priests, the scribes, the Pharisees, the prophets that they can let them know where that the great king has been born. So he went and he was so troubled. And they let him know that it is Jerusalem of Judea. That's where um, the new king will be born. Was it? And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. So demand. So we are going to stand on him. He demanded on them where the Christ should be born. So we are ending here today. If the Lord by His grace next time, uh, the Lord give us um, another chance, we will continue. But when, when you are at home, please try and read it, so that when we come, we know this already. He said it yeah. Add something. Our question. Question, please. Okay, please. Uh, um, please, my question is: uh, Did the, did an angel appear to the wise men before the star, before they saw the star that led them to where the king was born, or it, they just saw only the star? I, I don't want to be a liar here. It has been. Um, you know, now we already met you. Some, some when you other, you also have other chapters. They will talk about that. Uh, talk about the star and uh, the wise men. At this moment, I don't know, but uh, next week I can let you know by the grace of God. I pray that may the uh, spirit of God reminds me so that I will let you know. Because I don't want to tell you that uh, they saw the star and the angel appeared to them, or the angel appeared to them before the star comes. Please do understand, because we are we are we are on camera and everything is being recorded live. For a person not to lie, or a person not to say anything wrong, let us put it here and uh, so that when I find out, uh, I will let you know by the grace of God. Okay, please. God bless you. Okay, uh, pl uh, please. Uh, I said I will ask. I will give you a question to go and ask for you to go and ask your parents. Are you ready? Okay. What did the angel say to uh, Joseph when he appeared uh, uh, to him? Because Joseph, Joseph was doing something. Okay, it's a long question. So ask your parents, then you come and tell us, please. I ask Pastor Daniel and ask Sister Linda. Ask Brother Joshua and Sister Bibi. I mean, ask uh, Prophet Jamila <laughs> uh, this question. Joseph was doing something. After that, he was thinking about something. After that, the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, da, 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 da. That's the answer today. 
go and ask your uh, parents. And next week, if the Lord permits us, give us grace for us to live again uh, by his grace, we will ask and he will give us the answer. I hope the question is okay. What was the thinking of uh, Joseph? And after that, he, he slept. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in the dream. And the angel of the Lord also said something to him. So what was he thinking? And what did the angel of the Lord told uh, Joseph? The angel of the Lord told Joseph something in a dream. And Joseph was also thinking about something before he slept. Please put your hand on your chest that I pray for you. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, my Lord, I pray and I commit your servants into your, you made your servant, your made servant into your hands. That my Lord, my brothers, you keep them. My Lord, you save them. You protect them. As you were that in my son, Psalm 34, verse 7. That my Lord, those that they fear you, you protect them. The book of Pray, Pray, chapter 18, verse 10 says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous one to see. My Lord, I pray that. You save each and every one and you protect each and every one in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Lord, I send for each and every one with the blood of, the, with the blood of Jesus Christ. My Lord, also I commit their parents, the works of their parents also into your hands. That my Lord, protect their works. Whatever they do, my Lord, let it be blessing for them, for the entire family. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the, may the Lord give you grace. May the grace of the Lord be abundance upon your life. I pray that my Lord put his fear into your heart. I pray that may the Lord bring you into his tabernacle. When there's trouble, whatever that people will be in trouble, may the Lord save you. May the Lord grant you grace, a grace above every grace. May the Lord watch your footsteps till when he comes again. May the Lord bless you and bless you and bless you. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. That I pray. Please, you are saying the grace. Open your microphones and let us say the grace. May the grace so far love the Yes. Amen. God bless you all. God bless you all. Bless you too. Uh, you've done well. Everybody did well. God bless you all. God bless you all. Okay.